Welcome everyone to the remaining weeks of the Business Management Capstone course. This video will detail the remaining assignments for this semester. Within the weekly modules content area, you're going to see the folder that's labeled weeks 13 through 15 remaining assignments for this semester. As always, it has the same structure with the learning objectives, the assignment summary, which I'll go over each assignment one by one, course content, And now we get to the assignments. The first one is course participation, weeks three, 13 through 15, team communication. All this means is if you stay in constant communication with your team, you will receive 100 points for the course participation, weeks 13, 13 through 15. Keep in mind, it's only 100 points total. It's not 100 points for each week. So if I hear from your team that you're not participating, you will obviously not receive the 100 points for the course participation. Next, you have the Case 8 Tesla in 2019. That should be very straightforward to you. Next, we have the Global Simulation Year 15 Decisions. Normally, I just you know say, hey, you have decisions, you know what to do, let's move on to the next assignment. Well, I'm gonna pause for a moment. And the reason being is, Year 15, you can just have at it, meaning that you could take a lot of risk that you would not have done in the past. The reason being is there is no year 16 for us. We Our, our simulation uh, competition stops at year 15. So we don't care about year 16. We're not moving on to year 16. So definitely keep that in mind. I have seen teams in the past win the simulation by taking a lot of risk in year 15 because they knew there was no year 16. Now that's up to you. You don't have to do that. You can stick with your same game plan if you want to. I at least just wanted to share the information with you. Next one is the Global Simulation Post-Game Peer Evaluations. Clearly you know how to uh, accomplish this. This assignment is not due until December 6. Next we have Research Paper Disruptive Technology. The reason why I chose this topic for the research paper is normally when I present at conferences, I'm always presenting about disruptive technology. What's going to change in the industry? So to me, it's kind of near and dear to my heart. I, I think anyone who's business minded needs to keep an eye ahead to see what might you know knock them off from being number one. Uh, so just make sure you review the assignment details, the grading rubric, and submit the paper. Okay, next we have the annual report. Okay, so this is a true annual report. This is not like your module reports where you just answered a few questions. This will take you some time. Okay, so it's not due until December 6th. Clearly, I'm giving you extra time because Thanksgiving break. All right. You should really, really, really be getting a jump on this early. Make sure you review the instructions, the grading rubric, uh, you know, review all documentation with team members before attempting the assignment. Each team needs to divide up the workload and meet on a regular basis. And of course, once you complete it, go ahead and have one team member submit it to the annual report submission link. Usually the first question I receive when students re see this annual report assignment is, where's my example? As you know, I don't give examples. There are a tremendous amount of examples out on the web of true annual reports by public traded companies that you can go look up yourself. You do not need me. You have to be able to think and learn on your own when you're you know, in business. And obviously you also have team members that you can rely upon as well. Last but not least, we have the capstone presentation to the board of trustees, which is of course myself. So you wanna review the capstone presentation details, review the grading rubric, schedule a team online presentation with me, I will attempt to accommodate your request date and time. I know last time with the introductions, I believe I pretty much was able to accommodate everyone. Keep in mind, you do not have to schedule within my office hours. I, I know some people work in the daytime, some work at night, some work on the weekends. So whatever works for the team, I will do my best to accommodate you with the presentation. Uh, one, one part I want to say about the presentation is, do not read the slides to me. I don't want to see 
you know, three paragraphs on one slide and you just read the slides to me. That's what's been happening in the past or with the bad teams, I should say. And they get deducted a tremendous amount of points because I do not want you to read the slides to me. There should not be a thousand words on one slide. Also, you should not just be reading something that you typed up prior to the presentation because it clearly will come across that way. You should know what's on a slide. You should have memorized what you should be saying, and it should come across as natural, not as you're just reading a piece of paper to me. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and look at the results of year 14 within Globus. Here we have the year 14 scoreboard. All I have to say is way to go company D. They are first place in the year 14 scoreboard and they are now first place in the game to date scoreboard. So let's take a look at this. So company D, they're at 97, they gained six points. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but look, company C dropped four, and company B only gained two. So that's what I was trying to convey to you throughout the entire semester, is you don't have to gain a lot of points, especially when other teams drop points. So uh, company F gained five points. Uh, they're in fourth place now. They jumped over A and E. Uh, a is in fifth. Uh, they stay even, which is, you know, if I had to either gain or lose, I'd rather at least just stay even instead of losing. Because Company E lost four points, where they could not afford to lose four points. They're at a record low of 49 points, very low within the year 14 scoreboard that I have ever seen. Uh, clearly, they're not getting any points this year for their decisions. Because So let's go ahead and look at the game to date scoreboard. Then again, like I told you, Company D, great job. You know, I. I was thinking you might get up to the second place, but you got first place so far. You're at 97. Company B's at 95. Company C's at 94. Now, keep in mind, Company D, you're only a couple points ahead of B and only a few more ahead of C. So they can come back and try to get you as well. But uh, hopefully you uh, are able to hold on because that, that'd be pretty interesting. Because, um, like I said, I thought maybe at best you might get second place, but right now you're in the driver's seat. So, uh, company A for overall game to date, you're in fourth place. So I'd say keep that up. I, you know, I, I know you've been trying re really hard. So try to hold on to that, uh, fourth place, uh, at 65. Uh, company F's right behind you at 64. So this is what I was hoping that A, F, and E would battle it out. Um, since there's such a big gap between D, B, and C. But clearly, company E, they're not doing much of anything. So uh, it looks like it'll be between Company A and Company F for fourth place. But, you know, try hard, Company A and F, and see if you can, you know, either uh, hold on as for Company A or Company F, knock Company A off, and get, get fourth place. I, I think that would be a good showing. That To me, that, that displays that you're trying, and, and that's all I can ask within the simulation. Well, that's all I have for this week. Obviously, it, it's going to be uh, big the next few weeks. So it's going to require all your attention and all your effort uh, to be successful. So um, please reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Have a great week and a nice Thanksgiving.